Hi everyone, welcome to Western. I'm a computer science faculty member. I teach the third year databases course and I also teach uh, two first year courses. So I'm going to just give you a little virtual introduction to the computer science department at Western. Hopefully this answers some of your questions. I'll just give you a few fun facts about our department. We're the second oldest computer science department in Canada, and we're the first department in Canada to have a female chair of the department, and we think we're actually maybe the first department in the world to have a female chair as our department, and she was fantastic. She's retired now, but uh, just two little things about our department. So one of the great things about our department is we're very flexible. So you can do computer science combined with other things. Like we have students who do computer science combined with Ivy Business School. We have students who do computer science and engineering. We actually had a student a couple years ago who did computer science and music, which was a very cool combination. You could do computer science and French. The lovely thing about our discipline is it really goes with everything nowadays. Our program is very flexible. We'll try to make it work with whatever your interests are. And many of our faculty members are well known in computer science all around the world. Our research is excellent. These are some of the things that our professors are working on. We have a really cool connection with the neuroscience unit at Western. So if you're interested in neuroscience or artificial intelligence, we have really interesting research going on there. This year, actually, one of our faculty members who she's cross-appointed with stats, she wrote this really cool tool that they're using to figure out COVID cases around Canada. So you can zoom in on places and get information. We also got a huge donation last year from Royal Bank that uh, we're using to do really innovative stuff. So there's lots of cool things happening at Western. This is just a little bit about what you'd be doing if you're taking first year computer science. So the very first course you take in computer science is CompSci 1026. And in that course, you do Python. And one of the assignments that they did is really neat. They looked at Twitter at uh, tweets, and then they tried to figure out how happy each area of the country was based on the tweets that they were doing. Another really cool thing about our department is our gaming minor. So students can, they don't have to, but if they're interested in gaming, they can get a minor in gaming along with a computer science honor specialization. And what they do is in fourth year, they take a gaming design course but the prof doesn't give them a game that they have to design. They get to come up with their own ideas. So there's all kinds of awesome ideas that students come up with, and then they just build the game themselves, and the prof helps them walk through the steps of building the game. The prof who teaches this course has a very strong connection with a gaming company in London, so he gives lots of valuable feedback because he knows how it's really working in the real world. Here's some examples of projects from his class, his fourth year class. Now, if you're in first year, typically you're going to do a three hours a week with a professor in a lecture hall in a non-COVID year, of course, but you would do three hours a week in a lecture hall, or it might be one hour, Monday, Tuesday, Friday. And then that would be a bigger group of kids. But then you would have 20 students in a lab room for two hours where you do hands-on activities and you work with a grad student and they walk you through some activities. So we have lots of professors who have been on the student council honor list for great teaching. One of our favorite professors, Dr. Solis Oba, he won the highest teaching award at Western. Here's one of our students. She actually was the head of our computer camp. Uh, she worked one year as a counselor and then the second year she became the head. And here's a quote from her. I'll let you pause it if you wanna read what she has to say. Here's another student. He was actually in my databases class. Hi, uh, my name is Ryan Davis. Uh, I'm an upper year computer science student here at Western. And my experience in the program has been overwhelmingly positive. Uh, during my degree, I gained experience in a variety of areas, including artificial intelligence, databases, web development, and video game development. I also completed a 12-month internship as part of my degree, which gave me a great opportunity to apply all the skills I've learned in the program. Uh, computer science also is a great community. 
Uh, both the professors and the students are very friendly and approachable. Um, I'm really happy I chose to study computer science at Western and I encourage anyone interested in the field to apply. And then this is just some of our alumni who've gone on to do some fantastic things. And these two guys, they worked on a game. Again, they did the minor in gaming and I believe they both also did their internship at a gaming company in London. And this is just an interesting article that mentions that we're in the top 50 schools in the world for gaming. So you don't have to take gaming if you come to Western, but it is one of our strengths. Some of the other experiences you'll have at Western is we have a Hack Western. We have internship, which I'll talk more about in a minute. And I actually was one of the first profs in our department to teach a blended course, which helped me a lot during the COVID year. So I had pre-recorded my lessons. And then what I had the students do, we would come together every two weeks. And rather than listening to me lecture, they had already watched my videos. What we would do is we would work on activities in groups of three, and then we'd swap the work that we'd done and we would take it up. And then another cool thing that I did in that course was, I'm not sure if you're aware of three minute thesis, but that's where a PhD student has to explain their thesis in layman's terms in three minutes. So I had the students pick a topic in databases and they had to explain it in three minutes in layman's terms and then record it. And most students did a PowerPoint presentation, which was fine. Some students did a little skit, which was cool, but I actually had three students who made a rap video about something called JSON in databases. It was fantastic. The number is CS3319, so you'll hear that referenced in this. JSON, baby. Spitting fire from 3319. JSON. This one's for you, Laura. JavaScript object notation syntax for storing and exchanging your data paired up in columns. No complicated translation. Regular objects are wax. JSON. So it was a very fun assignment, and oh my gosh, this one was so fantastic. Now the really cool thing about our department, and to be honest, our university is that we have this wonderful thing called internship. So it's not just for computer science students. If you're in biology, chemistry, there's lots of programs that have internship. The nice thing about internship in computer science is that normally there are more employers looking for students than there are students to fill the number of jobs. So I think you have to have a, maintain a 70 average. But beyond that, as long as you do well in the interview, you should have no problems getting a job. It is between eight to 16 months, and it is always between your third and fourth year. And you actually earn a credit towards your degree if you do internship. You don't have to do internship, it is optional. It's similar to co-op at other universities, but normally co-op would be four months. And in computer science, it's hard to make a contribution at a company in just four months, whereas this, you're making real changes to this company. You're doing work that is valuable to them. You get real world experience. We have staff at Western who help you design your resume. They help you with your interviewing skills, soft skills. They set everything up for you. They bring the companies. So our staff are always looking for new companies that we can have partnerships with. We even, if you're say from a town where you want to go back home and live at home for your internship, if you can find a company in your town that can give work that is related to computer science and will give you valuable experience, you can talk to our internship staff about this and then they'll go and talk to the company and make sure it's suitable and if it's a good fit you can live at home and the lovely thing is that you get paid as a regular employee so you're making a full salary you know 50 to 60 thousand a year and you're getting a university credit and then when you come back you give a presentation about your experience here are some of the companies that you could do an internship with. There's quite a few gaming companies in London. We've had interns that create, I'm not sure if any of you know of the game My Singing Monsters, but they worked on those games. We have students at IBM. We've had students at Microsoft. I don't know if we have any there right now. We've just made a connection with Ubisoft, a gaming company. This company, Autodata, they've been fantastic there in London. 
They always take our interns. Our interns get such valuable experience. They work with automobile companies in Canada and I think in the States to help them design their website. So they're another fantastic partner that we've had. I always think one of the important things you want to know about are the logistics of what is first year like. So at Western, every student, doesn't matter if you're in computer science, has to take five full courses for the whole year, which is 10 half courses. Most of our courses are half now, or five half courses per term. If you want to go into the computer science program, you have to take CS 1026A, that's first term, and then the B means second term. So you take 1027 second term. 1026 is in Python, 1027 is in Java. You do also have to do a full year of math. If you're interested in gaming or graphics, we recommend you do math. 1600 which is linear algebra and then most students would also do the half of calculus or you can do a full year of calculus if you love math that's fine too and then you have to take three other courses so here's a little chart of what first year looks like the purple are the computer science courses the white are the math courses and then the grays are your options so you're taking this first term this second term first term second term and then three options this is second year, so you do have to take data structures. Second year is pretty similar for all students. You have to take a logic course. This course you'll be learning about C and Unix. This course you'll be learning about assembler language and how the computer is set up. This course you'll be learning math for computing. And then this is a big group course and you do stats and then you take a writing course for scientists and then you get one option. In third and fourth year, it's a little bit more flexible. You can take what you're interested in. Again, I'm the lecturer who teaches databases. I happen to think my course is the most important in third year, but I'm sure every third year prof thinks that as well. You have to get at least 65% in both 26 and 27 to move into second year computer science. You also have to get at least 60 in your first year math courses. But in second year, you'll be doing C, more Java, and some assembler. And in third year, you'll be doing C++. In my course, you do PHP. And the one thing I'd like to mention is that CompSci 1026 doesn't have any prerequisites. So you do not have to know how to code in order to take CompSci 1026 at Western and go into computer science at Western. But I'm not going to lie to you, it definitely helps if you've done at least one programming course, you will find first year a little bit easier. So hopefully that gives you some insight into the computer science department at Western. And we're really looking forward to seeing you in person, hopefully, in September of 2021.